Well, welcome everybody, it's me, GSD, back again with some more in Stars in Time. Last time, we finally got through everybody's, uh, whatchamacallit, their event, I guess. Their special event. Their, their date. And now we're back inside here, uh, and there's a couple things that I need to check. Things that I absolutely know I have to do is I have to look at each chain statue. And also, I have to find the news article. Other than that, it's just trying to get to the king again. I'm not sure what else I need to do. Alright, what happens when I pass through here? Ugh. You hit your hip into the counter and bite your lip really hard. You hit the counter back. Oh! Bad counter! Let's beat it up! <laughs> you feel better. This is a good way to resolve this. Check all this stuff. I feel like I should also be skipping all dialogue too, just in case. Or at least stuff we know, right? Or hitting everything that's weird. A key. No time. We do all the no time stuff and then just keep going, right? I think that's the way to play it. I don't know how else, like, do I need to check pillars? Do I need to check all barrels just so that I look like I am checking everything or suspicious of everything? Still don't know about, like, the card inside that thing. Wait! This is where the articles are, right? Some papers. They seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. You never looked at them very closely before, have you? You take a step forward. Oh, so many articles about the king! His conquest was slow enough that the Vulgarian press had time to write about him. I remember that. But there's no one to write them now. You all start reading random articles. This article is about his slow march to Dormont's house. This one is about him probably being from another country than Vulgard. Huh? He really isn't Vulgardian then? Oh, apparently not. This article says there's no record of him anywhere. Up until he appeared out of thin air sometime in his adulthood. It's like he lived in the city of Corbeau for a few years before he became the king. Corbeau? So he was a traveler? Like friend and Isle? Please don't compare him to us, thank you. That's right. He did talk about Vogardians before. Well, he phrased it. It did seem like he thought of Vogardians as people other than himself. And... He said he thought of Vogard as welcoming. Always willing to welcome people in, even someone with no name, no home, or to speak of. You should go and ask the king where he's from later. Oh, this article's about his fashion sense. Huh? From what I've heard, he does have a very distinctive hairstyle. This article is more about his armor, actually. They even included a sketch. Look! Hmm. Well, it's very... Shiny? I suppose. Very imposing. There's something that caught your attention, though. The stars on his gauntlets? Hmm. His crown. His shoulder parts. The patterns. I see stars. The patterns? Oh, his crest and gauntlets, you mean? It's just a weird lozenge. What's so weird about that? Those are stars. Stars? What's a star? The dots in the sky. Siv and I were looking at them yesterday, remember? How? Oh. This article here does mention his speech mannerisms. The stars and sky related things seem to be something he comes back to often. Stars, huh? What could he what could be interesting about them? The stars. Is there somewhere in the house where you could find out about more about them? Yes, there is. The secret library. Re, re. Some papers. They seem to be... Wait, can I... What? Oh, I guess I picked the right one, but like, what happens if you pick the other two things? The handwriting is so terrible you can barely read what's on it. Anything else? Just a 
bunch of sketches. We don't know what this card is about. Why are they fighting? Five of Wands. Now, I wonder if the snack times are going to be different after we've had all those interactions. This one feels different than the others, doesn't it? It's missing the threatening pressure the rest of the house has. Shall we take a little break then? N no! We should keep going and... What was that? I think I'm hungry. My time! My time! My time to be the leader! Why? Because it's snack time, baby! Snacks are important to keep hunger away and keep morale up. I learned that because I'm a growing kid. That sure is true. But we... Do we have time to? Mira, let's take a break, alright? Even people blessed by the change god like you need to take a break sometimes. Alright. You guys stay here. I'll get some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. Oh, I remembered something. Isabel, has her tails. Huh? Um... Tails! But Al takes a coin from her pocket and flips it in the air. Flip, 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 flip. Fell on tails. Huh. I lost. Yay! Where do I win? The sweet taste of victory and nothing else. I don't even get a congrats. I don't get... Wow, madame. I thought we were friends. Friends, huh? Not anymore, madame. It's over between us. We are friends no more! Wait, this is different. Uh-huh. What's the coin flip about, madame? Ah, well. I asked the favorite tree to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favorite tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it doesn't. Uh, well... But madame didn't put any thought or hope into her favor, so why would it come true tonight, right? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely! Ha! Ah. Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks. Today, I have many snacks at your disposal. I have... We gotta pick all the favorites. This is for Bonnie. We gotta pick Bonnie's favorites. All right, and we eat cookies and onigiri. Now choose, choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You'd like the rice, please. There you go. It's not very good. So, do you all like it? Did I do good? Uh, do a good job as snack leader. You nod, but prepare yourself for what comes next. It's so good. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh. Um, do not make Bonnie sad. Okay, so this is all the same stuff. Wait, is it? Oh, it is. Mmm, good food. Yum, yum, yum. Yes! After eating snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Wait, we still might get Bonnie to say what they think about us. It's not stupid. Can't be friends. That'd be like being friends with your mom or your sister. What about, which am I? You're my cousin. It's different. You're my cousin who I see once a year and we have a really good time. I love it. Actually, Dial's more like grandma, isn't she? And you definitely can't be friends with your grandma. That was like cool sister, the one who'd give my me sweets when I ask. Unlike my older sister who sucks. Sounds like a little brother. And then we finish off on this. Sweet, it changed. Hope everyone is all right. People in the house? Yes, well, mostly this is the same. Brr. Make her smile. Add a mean with plum. The fact that you stole my joke, Mirabelle. What a pitiful experience for me. Kind of brought it back. Ha <laughs> ha. Blah blah blah. 
Pitiful. Heh <laughs> heh. Hey, Sif! Let me guess, you're still hungry? I can see it on your face. This is gonna be the same as well, right? Yeah. Whoa! Really have the heart of a delicate maiden, you know? You have to be careful with me. Hey, hey! This boss seems to be having trouble looking at you. Anne O'Dile, are you suspicious yet? I hope I didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. You both look Bonnie's way. Bonnie's stuffing their cheeks happily. It's because it's rice. Never mind. You may be. But. You leave I owed I'll be. But. One more time! Damn. Gotta call Loop. Think about talking to Loop. You close your eyes. Hello, hello, Loop speaking. Thank you for calling. How may I help you? What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? You need help to help everyone? I did. Which one, Stardust? Which ally? Mirabelle. Had a nice time talking with your housemaiden. So she feels bad because she can't love people romantically and she feels like she can't do what's needed for of her as a housemaiden. She feels like she can't change in the way she, that's asked of her since she doesn't want to get in a relationship, relationship ever. Must be hard having a crisis of faith like this. Sounds like talking to you helped her though. And talking to her didn't help you, but it made her stronger, which is all you can ask for, huh? Don't forget! You want her to get that special skill, or well, you could do it and zone out the whole time if you wanted to. But that's cheating. Which I lie. Had a nice time talking to... What a nice guy! He prepared everything so you could watch the night sky because he noticed you liked the stars, and he wanted to spend some time with you. Who knew he had such a history with the change belief, too? Come to think of it, he might represent the change belief better than your housemaiden does. She must hate that. And he tried to tell you something at the end, too. You think it's the same thing he always tries to say at the end? He'll never spit it out. Poor guy. Hee hee. Which ally? Odelia. Your researcher. So, she was looking for a family tale. Maybe the whole time you've known her. Family tales are a Vulgardian tradition, and as a half Vulgardian, she felt like it would bring her closer to her roots. That's why she came to Vulgard even. To find out more about herself. Being able to go wherever you want and find more about yourself in the process. Well, that sure was interesting, wasn't it? And... Bonnie? You got to hang out with that kid, didn't you? So all this time, that's they felt guilty because they feel like they're the reason you're half blind. What a silly idea. But blah blah blah, I missed it. Their sister's frozen in time. They had to run away from their home to escape the king's curse. And they had to see you and your stupid eye every day. No wonder they don't know what to do with all these thoughts rattling in their brain. No wonder you felt like they hated you. But isn't it nice? To, be to not be hated anymore? What? Need a reminder of their favorite foods? Well, so far you've found out that they like rice, pineapples, and samosas with potatoes, but with no cheese. That's all of them, right? Isn't it? Why do you have to end it like, isn't it? Is there something else? I just need help in general. So you helped them all out. At least once during the same loop. Helping them was fun, right? Too bad there's nothing else to do. I'd like to go through the whole house with them now, though. Huh? Why? Well, it won't hurt, I suppose. Make sure to help them out in the same loop. Then go to your ho then go from the house's entrance and have your little snack times all the way to the head housemaiden, without looping towards forwards and backwards. I wonder if anything will change, though. That's what I was planning to do. Any other questions? Find out more about the king. What should I do now? The king's armor had some star patterns on it. I saw them, but never thought anything of them. Most people don't know anything about the stars, do they? They sure don't. 
You barely do most of the time, don't you? But then, how does the king remember? And why does he care about stars to the point he has them on his armor? Similar to the one on your chest, Loop. Loop? Some place that has something to do with the stars. You know where to go, don't you? <gasps> Wait! The observatory room! You found it already! That room. You know where to go. I thought we would just have to go to the library, but there was the, the room with the telescope. About the king. Good thing I called Loop! I need a refresher. A refresher, sure. Brrr. Oh, we don't need all this. I made a mistake. Messed it up. I didn't know what to say. I didn't think taking all those different classes taught me anything worthwhile, to be honest. This is new. I can't fast forward this. I like taking them. And I like learning those things. But I didn't do anything with what I learned. I, and I wasn't even good at any of it. So, wasn't it all just a waste of time? And that's what I ended up saying during the class. And everyone was just silently looking at me, judging me. So, um, I ran away from the class and stayed in my room for a week. <laughs> oh no! Oh, gems. To evade judgment and wait for it to blow over? I get it. But taking all those classes doesn't seem like it was a waste of time, though. It's fine to learn things just for learning's sake. And you never know that when that knowledge might come in handy. Hmm, that's true. But thinking about it now, I felt like I had to do something with that knowledge. Everyone else in the classes felt like they were learning about their passion, you know? Artists taking art classes, getting better at their craft, that sort of thing. Uh, but I was just not using those skills outside of class. But just because everyone is doing their way means I can do things my way too. And I can just take a lot of classes because I like to learn. Yeah! Maybe this is what the head housemaiden wanted you to realize when she asked you to prepare this class. Oh! <laughs> Maybe. That- Whoa! Memory of learning, teachable moments, something about teaching. Hello? You'll always remember this. When memory of learning is equipped, all of your housemates' craft skill cooldowns will be lowered by one. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is... I wish I read more into it, but we already know the gist. She was asked to do all these classes, or she did all these classes to learn, and then she was asked to do a lecture. And then I guess she didn't tell us what she her lecture was about until now. I guess... Now that we helped everybody, there's a certain level of trust between everybody now. Or openness. And, uh, we probably will see a lot more, actually. Oh, the best part of the game. Do it. Tiny dying plant. This plant looks tiny and cute, I guess. Wait. Did I skip over it? The wholesomeness? I skipped over the wholesomeness. Smell like flowers. Damn it. Okay. Check this, get the vials. Talk to you. Nice. And? As you pass through the tight space between the tables and the wall, you brush against everyone. Touch, 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 touch. You try to get some human contact every loop, even if it's discreetly like this. Alright, check the statue. It's being destroyed. Check the statue. Here we go! This might be new. Seifrin, are you curious about the Change Got statues, perhaps? Yes! I'm just wondering why they're broken. That's the king's doing, isn't it? There's statues of the change god and the king wants to freeze for garden time, so... Maybe the king wanted to make a statement? Look how useless your change god is! That sort of thing. But only the faces are destroyed. Normally you'd destroy the whole statue, right? The face is important, Isle! Oh? Yes! 
Um, so every statue we've seen so far is made by a, a different crafter or artist. It's kind of a cultural thing to craft your own change god. Change god is always changing, always different. And we all have our own version of the change god in our brains. Change god is always depicted wearing the same clothes, so they're at least recognizable in that way. But their face is always changing. I think the change god has like a thousand eyes. That's how they can see everything. I've heard someone say the change god had sewn their own mouth shut, unable to tell us how to change and leaving it to us poor humans to figure it out. I had a dream that they had dimples. And, and, since it's crafted by us, it's supposed to represent our connection to the change god. The change god, by their ve very nature, doesn't interact with humans much. Except for when they bless Mirabelle. Uh, y yeah. But by crafting the change god's face, we get linked to them in some small way. And some people even get to communicate with the change god through the statues they made as well. Oh, really? Nah, not really. Yes, really! I've met someone who's talked to the change god when they finished their statue. Was it in a dream, maybe? Because you know that doesn't count. Anyway, that's why all the statues are different from one another. Interesting. So it's a cultural tradition to make your own statue. And it's a connection between you and the change god. How do you connect with your gods, madame? We make shrines for our gods, and everyone shares the shrines. Sharing gods? Interesting. Now that you know more about the statues and the change belief, maybe you could check Mirabelle's statue one more, once more. Ooh. Broken, 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 broken. Wow, a secret passage. Nice one, but you're the one who found it, buddy. You wink. Nice. We're trying to build suspicion here. This guy ain't no thing. This guy ain't no thing. Two slices. Okay, maybe a slice and a half. Okay, maybe a slice and a three quarters. There we go. Check that. Check the hole. Nothing again. Dang, I wanna know what this hole's about. Books with no titles. Papers. A pile of lists of checked out books. Bell's looking intently at the list. Paparazzi family tale, huh? Interesting. But Al looks your way. Very interesting. Suspicion. Look away. You look away. Hmm. We're getting there. Another hole? Doesn't take me anywhere. Colors. Color theory. Don't need to hear this. We're just trying to build suspicion. Language is giving me a headache. The shields. Why he takes the page off the shelf and opens it up? This are so complicated. Alright, nothing else hidden here. We did build a lot of suspicion, though. Anytime I hear that weird sound, I feel like that's the suspicion. I guess we have another snack time! So what do we learn? This is the one where uh, they talk about death. Maybe not. We might still need to... I'm hungry. What was that? It was my tummy, sorry. That was so loud. How hungry are you for it to be this loud? I don't get this swole by skipping meals. Ugh. Anyway, let's take a break for now. Bon Bon, how much longer until the snacks are done? Five minutes! Okay, take your time! Hey, everyone. Hey, hey. Hmm? So, um, we haven't brought it up yet, so, um, I have a question. Ah, secret adult conversation for adults, no kids allowed? Do you not want Bonnie Face to hear? Yeah. If we're sure they won't hear, then yeah. Say at normal volume, hey, Bonnie. 
Bonnie has a crab face. Bonnie forgot. Bonnie is the cutest. Wait. Why are you all talking? This is new. Why are you all even talking about what will happen if we lose? Huh? Uh, Bonnie, you, you were listening? I'm a master cooker, so I can cook and listen to you guys talk. And I think it's stupid to worry about what's going to happen if we lose. But Bon Bon. No, listen. Because me and friend promised, you know? Friend promised he wouldn't get hurt protecting people anymore. And I promised I'd protect friend. So if I protect friend, I protect all of you, so... So if I'm here, no one will get hurt. That's a Bonnie promise. Bonnie looks at you and offers you a big smile. Bonnie. Damn, we're good. Shame on you adults. Am I really getting reassured by a kid right now? Ha! Well, if Bonnie is saying it, I believe it. You and Bonnie will protect us? I... I won't accept such a one-sided promise. If you both will protect us, we'll protect you both too. We'll protect each other. Indeed, we will. Don't worry, Bonbon. Bon. Don't worry, Sif. We'll all fight and we'll all live. You nod, smiling. So, to make sure we have enough energy to protect each other, isn't it? It's snack time, baby! To have... So which snacks do you want? I can't do the pineapple, I'll die and loop. We're not supposed to loop, but we're gonna loop anyway if we go inside the star room, right? Oh! One fish. Uh, I'll take some mad lines. Give me the fish head. There you go! I have another if someone wants one. I'll try it. I'm curious. Do you eat the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> you eat the fish head. Crunchy and delicious, like always. You used to find them disgusting, but someone you knew loved them, so you tried them. Wait, this is new. Someone you knew? Who? Crunchy and delicious, like always. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please tell me that didn't count as one of my loops. Right? After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been returned. That- Hey, wait, what? That- Wait. That's not supposed to happen. Is that- Is that supposed to happen? Friend, do you see me? I'm gonna touch you now! Bonnie slowly raises their hand, and slowly moves it towards your hand, and slowly pats your hand. Good kid, good kid! You didn't even jump that time. Good job. You did a good job. You laugh. Friend! Bonnie gives you a thumbs up. You give a thumbs up back. This is the best version of Bonnie, by the way. See, friend. You tilt your head. <laughs> Sorry. Just wanted to say your name. Mira. See, friend. Mira! <laughs> Sif! No! What? Sif is my Sifrin nickname, Mira. You have to pick another one. I'm sorry. I won't budge on that. Jim's alive, Isabeau. I, uh, I mean... What? But you and Sifrin share Mira. It's not fair. That's true. All right. In the spirit of fairness, we can get joint custody on Sif then. I don't want to. You know, I think I'll pick another nickname for Sifrin after all. <laughs> but Isabel picked Sif, and Bonnie picked Frin. I have no letters left. <laughs> this is all new. I like it. S Sif, thanks for talking to Bon Bon today, yesterday. Why? Why? Well, because they managed to look you in the eye earlier. That's why. Didn't think it was gonna happen anytime soon after the whole incident, I guess. Ah, about my eye, you mean? 
Well, yeah. I always felt like you didn't really care about what happened, but... Bonbon's little, you know... Even if they felt like you didn't blame them for it, still a lot of emotions for a kid to handle. But knowing you, probably thought Bonbon started hating you for no reason, yeah? Heh, <laughs> figured. I guess I should have talked to you about it, but it didn't feel like my place. So that's why I'm glad you two talked yesterday. Good job, Sif, good job! Here, have a man line. You feel patronized. You take the mad line. <laughs> Aw, Sif, want another mad line? For doing such a good job? Yes, they do, yes, they do! You blow a raspberry at him. He laughs. Aren't easy? Uh oh. But I was looking at you. Oh, never mind. Leave me alone, I'm reading. Damn! We're so close! Old people need their alone time. Save it. All right. Save progress? Yes. I save it here. Save that. Yeah, what am I hesitating on? All right, time to go. All right, we got everything in here. We got the key, we got whatever we needed. No, you don't, not this time. So we just need to go where? Oh wait, we can't get the knife yet. Oh no! We have choices to make. You can't get the knife if you go into the room with the stars. This is where the path is going to defer. Because we have to check the statue again. But we can't check the statue if we use the thing to go get the night uh to the observatory room and we can't get the observatory room if we go for the knife so i'm screwed i'm gonna save here we're gonna save here and we're gonna save on number three as well so we have a duplicate i'm gonna go to the observatory first i think but i think before that i have to actually fight a boss get out of here give me that crest Pocket. All right, Bonnie Fest, what do you mean by weird smelly? The sadness is all smell really sugary. That's it? Oh, yeah, you did mention that before. Bonnie Fist, what about this wall? What does it smell like? Like a crabbing wall! Really don't bring you anywhere, huh? Damn it. All right, up top is the book for Bonnie and... The observatory is the one north of here, right? So we're gonna go for that observation room, not observatory. Save on two. And save on two. And then save on three. There we go. We have the star crest that we can go and use on both. We're at the same point. But I really wanna know what's inside this room now. We're gonna have to loop. Tear floats gently. Use the star crest. Yes. Wow! Where are we? There's a big window over there. See? What? Was there a room like this in the house? Y yeah, I remember. Someone was working here, studying. They looked like. Um. Sorry, I can't remember. That's in the sky, though! That's stars! Those are stars, right? Stars, like the king's armor. Indeed. We should look around. It's X'd, though. It's a star chart. Another star chart. A chair. Notes. A pile of paper. Something is written on them. Looks like a child tried to write down their first word. That sure is some awful handwriting. And a determined child. Looks like they tried to write the same word all on all those papers. What was the word? You can't read it. But you can't read it, but you can't read it, but you can't read it, but you can't read it. What? Pile of papers, but you can't read it. 
But you are not able to read it. Why not? Book right in the middle. There's a book in Kabuan open on the table. You all looked at, at Odao. Kuhn book uh, here in Vogard. How rare. The, trend, bleh, the title translates to Colors Through Time? Seems to be an essay about color theory. Color theory? Let's read! We don't have time for this. Yeah, you don't really care. You can go and reread that book about colors in the secret library if you're so curious. Okay. I feel it's either looking through here or it's this globe. Some books. Just looking at them gives you a headache. Something is wrong. A star chart. What's this drawing for? This looks pretty good. Not really. It just looks like dots on Lila's paper. I could do that. The dots on the map look like the sky we can see through the window. Could it be some kind of drawing of the stars? A map of the stars? What for? You gently touch the map. For some reason, you feel empty. I don't remember any of these. Look at the globe. A world globe. We're here! His boat points to where you are, on the lower half of the globe. Bogard, the land of change. Kabue is here. That points to a big country, far from Bogard. Kabue is a country you visited at least once. And Bamboos is here! Bonnie points to a spot almost on the edge of Vogard. You look away from the globe. You see a spot on the globe where the paint has started wearing out, like someone kept dragging their finger on it. You drag your finger there too. Erased. Almost want to look for lightless paint. Lightless paint? Is that what they just call black paint? Uh, we can- oh, we can? There's no- nothing here. A big window. STARS! But... Don't they appear- only appear at night? We left early in the morning, so it should still be light outside. I heard it's always nighttime near the king. Maybe this is his influence? It was dark around the house yesterday too, remember? Hmm. The stars- oh! Stars like the king's armor. Stars like the king keeps mentioning. Stars like... You should remember them. Something in you tells you you should. Every time you raise your head and look up at them, you feel like it's something you've done dozens, hundreds, thousands of times. But you can't remember any of it. I can't remember what you were even trying to see, looking up at them. The king. Every time you face him, he asks you the same question. Do you remember? Remembering is not something you're very good at. There's so much you can't remember. You're a very forgetful person, after all. You can't remember basic items. You forget where you're going half the time. You can barely remember people's names. You've noticed you're starting to forget whole loops. You can barely remember anything that happened before you started looping in the time. In time. You can barely remember anything that happened before. 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 You breathe out and unclench your fists. What you can and can't remember doesn't matter much now, does it? The king. Does he want you to remember something? Does he... You should go and ask the king what he wants you to remember later. Sif? You okay? Lost in thought, Sifrin? You open your eyes, smile, and shake your head. You have to keep going. Ah, <sighs>
crap. But look out this telescope, it's dusty. What's that? Oh, I've seen one of these before. That's a telescope. I think you watch the sky with it. Like clouds? Like stars, I think. During the night, since they're not here during the day. Stars. Boring. Hmm. We frigged up our loop. Make the secret sign, you close your eyes. Oops, speaking, thank you for calling. I had a question about... Uh, actually, no. What should I do next? You're doing so many different things, what do you need help with? A king? What should I do now? stars, your memories. The fact that the king, every single time you face him, asks you if you can remember. What does he want you to remember? You know. You know already, but... You have to go and ask him. Hmm. I have no other questions, Loop. Never mind. Nothing. Okay. All right, so. <sighs> this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. We gotta. We gotta go and. Re loop. Because now we, we messed it up. We would have had to loop anyway, but we needed to go and get that information. So now I'm gonna have to go all the way back to town. Do all those events again. Maybe we'll get something different from loop if we go back to time, uh, town. But now I, I want to go through the house pristine with everybody. The same way that we were doing on this loop here. Did I screw it up? Maybe. I have a save anyway. So it's okay. Just in case. Alright. Thank you everybody. I really appreciate everybody coming through and really hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. So, I'll see you all next time in the next episode.